Are we on? Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about a man who uh, gets pulled over and goes to jail for one of the funniest opening clips I've seen in a while. Let's go. An officer noticed a truck partially parked on the road. The driver appeared to be falling asleep. Upon noticing the officer, he reversed into another vehicle in an attempt to flee. That was so, that is hilarious to me because it's like the cop is just sitting here like, what's going on? <laughs> so he wakes up. He probably wouldn't have been in trouble because the cop was just like, is he okay? You know, he's not, it's not like he's technically moving or anything. If he had just got out the car, be like, man, I'm going to be honest with you, sir. I, I thought I was good to drive and I'm not. And that's why I was sitting here. And you know what? I'm just going to sit down on this wall. I'm just being honest with you. I don't think he would have got that much trouble. But because he panicked and immediately backed up and hit another vehicle, it's just like, it's all over now. Man, I'm telling you guys, honesty can really get you out of a lot of trouble. He made a mistake. I don't know if he's been drinking or whatnot, but he made a mistake. But he panicked and thought that, I mean, what do you think he was going to do? Take off? Like, what was what was the best case scenario that could happen? Right. You're going to back up and what run from the cop, drive off like what what can happen that's going to work out for you. No, I want to get that out checking. Go ahead, no, and you know what sucks, too? Y'all may not have noticed this. Uh, sorry, I'm doing so much for rewinding. So, yeah, he was kind of parked in the road, man. He could have just backed up. Like, oh, sorry, officer. I was like, but somebody comes to come get him. Somebody walks up on the other side Partially of the truck. parked on the road. It was about to wake him up. The driver appeared to be falling asleep. You could see somebody on the Upon other side of the Upon noticing the officer, gonna, he reversed into that? another somebody vehicle walks up from in behind? an attempt to flee. And they walk up to him and they were about to wake him up. This person right here. And unfortunately, he's an idiot. He was that close because the cop was only there to see what he was doing. It's not like the cop was ready to come arrest him. And somebody's about to come over there. Hey, buddy, you're sitting out. But maybe this was the best case scenario. Maybe he was going to drink and drive and end somebody's lives. So maybe this is the best case scenario. Maybe not for him, but for, for us, you know. Go ahead, Norway 57. You're out the wigwam. Start a second. Hey, come back here. Foot pursuit behind the wigwam. White male. Stop, police. Stop. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah, over here. Stop. Stop. Give me your hand. Now relax. Give me your hands. Hands behind your back. The driver so, that, that's one of the fastest times I've seen somebody get arrested on a pursuit. Um, I mean, it literally, he just, come back. Got him. He didn't even really, to be honest, he didn't really resist hard because I think he's pretty messed up. But normally they give up more of a fight. He just kind of took it. He's like, it's over. Hey, you have permission here. for that. You're under arrest. You don't have permission for that. Okay. You don't have permission. Oh, yeah. You don't I want you to hear what he says to the officer when he says, can I have your ID? Hey, get up. You okay? Don't yeah, I'm okay. Don't Are you good? Me. Don't blow it to my face. Up. Don't pull my come on. Okay, well then get to your knees, hey. we gotta stand you up. Hey. Stand up. See, at first it sounded like it was all gonna go well. What? Like this gonna be okay. He's obviously I'm not going to stand mind, up. you know. I'm glad we caught him. Stand up. One, two, three, come on. Stand up. Okay. Yeah, if you want to help me get him up. Just grab under this. I don't want to hurt her shoulder. I want these. Oh, cool. Uh, let's go. Come on. Hey, let's go. Let me breathe real quick, huh? No, we're going to walk. You hey, can breathe a lot. Let me breathe real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Here's your idea, man. No, you fucking business. And that's where everything goes south. So, <laughs> he says, where's your idea, man? And he goes... 
None of your fucking business. So, and that's where it goes south. I mean, it just, from this point forward, it's just an absolute annoyance. You do not have permission for nothing. Baby. And this right, creature can see. Okay? This is just a continual thing over and over and over. What? He just complains what? like he hates being in a situation that he put it. himself in. Uh -huh. No. Was it Joshua? What? what? Why are you being a bitch? Because you just tried to walk away. No, I just not walk away. You just I said, said, you you just said I'm not saying. You said f you then and turned to walk away. You, I looked at you. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what's up? What's your name? Joshua. Joshua what? I'm I'm, 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 I'm the last, man. Joshua, what is your last name? And so now he gets into the car. Josh, what do you want us to do with your truck? And no matter what they say to him, he just keeps going on about wanting his lawyer. What? A they ask him, they say, do you want us to tow your truck? They say, do you want us to go put your truck up? Do you want us to park your truck? They were not going to tow this man's vehicle. But because he just could not sit down for just one second and answer the question and be like, uh, uh, can you park it? His mind just goes to, I want a lawyer. Constantly. Public defender or a lawyer. I want 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 somebody to know. Yeah. Sorry for you, my headphone users. You may want to turn your headphones down. This is pretty loud. I want a lawyer. I mean, it is ridiculous. He will not let this lawyer thing go. I didn't hear you said that. What did you say? You had made a comment prior to saying that? Shut the fuck up. I'm taking the account. Okay. Josh. I want a lawyer. Can you wake up? I want a lawyer. I want a lawyer. I'm not asking anything right now. I just have to read you something. I don't give a fuck what you read me. I want a lawyer. Just shut the fuck up and give me a lawyer. Shut the fuck up and give me a lawyer. Just hold on. No, 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 no. You hold on, nothing. I want a lawyer. A I want a lawyer. I don't want to hear nothing you say. I want a lawyer. I have to I want a lawyer. I want a lawyer. I want a lawyer. I want. A and that's what leads it to the. I want a lawyer. 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 He just. I mean, I just like man. Uh. And so he's gonna go on to talk about how. And remember how I told you guys. Remember how I told you guys that sometimes when somebody is very escalated, they just they pick a target and it happens to be you, and they don't want you to. They don't want to talk to you or anything. They as they'll do anything. They'll comply as long as you're not in the room. I told you that has happened with me when I've had to restrain people that sometimes they pick you to be against because either you were the first person they engaged or for some odd reason, you're just a target for that day. And so all you can do is not, obviously you shouldn't take any of this personal, but at the same time, it's like the best thing to do is just get them away from you. Like it's just less of a headache to get you out of the room. If you can get another officer, you can get another person just say, Hey, you just go, man. I mean, it's nothing personal. Just go. So we can get this man to be quiet. And that's how it goes. And sometimes your ego gets in the way and you want to be like, no, he's not going to just say, let it go, dude. And that's what ends up happening here. About this time, the supervisor comes along and he's just like, I don't want to be around him. Go away. I want somebody else. Headphone users, turn Help. your headphones down. Mm. But. Help me, please. Somebody help me! Yeah, see? He's saying help me because he doesn't want to be around this guy. <laughs> okay, hey Josh, I'm Bridget with the police department. I'm the supervisor on shift, okay? We're here to do a blood draw. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna unstrap you. I'm gonna have you get out with me and we'll walk in nice. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yes, Thank you, sir. I want him to stay away from me. Okay. Uh, we can... I'm gonna... Where are you hooked in here? Over here. These ones are new. Okay, this is Jake. He's gonna help me then, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I want him to stay away from me. Okay. Zach will For stay real. back as far as he can. As long as you cooperate, I want Zach him can to just stay, stay back. Away from me. Okay, well... Otherwise, I will resist and be a dick. Okay, let's not but do that. I want that. him to... Okay. 
He just goes on about him staying away from Here's me. Cool. Space. I want him. I want him out of here. I'll give space. you. He's giving you space. You're dealing be, with us, and you're gonna deal with the lab tech, and I handcuffed you in front. I don't want him taking me nowhere. Can you? Can you please? Yeah. Hoop, you want to pull up your car? Can you? Yep. Okay, stay right here with him. He's gonna pull up his car. He'll take care of you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. He's already not taking you to jail. I don't want him in my face either. Okay. He's not in your face. He's like ten feet away. He's not ten feet away. He's five feet away. Okay. I'm not gonna. He's five feet away, dude. Look how far away he is. All right. Unless he's talking about this man right here. Can you? Can you please? Yeah. Hoop, you want to pull up your car? Yep. Okay, stay right here with him. He's gonna pull up his car. He'll take care of you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. He's already not taking you to jail. I don't want him in my face either. Okay. He's not in your face. He's like ten feet away. He is. He's not ten feet away. He's five feet away. Okay. I'm not gonna argue. He's taking you to jail. Oh, he's talking about this man. Because she's at ten feet too, and he's clearly far further than ten feet away. Uh, no. We cannot get you a cigarette. Okay. Well, we'll have you get done. Jake, I'll have you go pee at the jail, okay? Thank you, guys. Not like you. Not like that. And the Thank you, guys. You guys both in the car? Yeah. Yep. And so pretty much from here they go and see everything that's going on, man. The reason I wanted to show the video is one, I don't, from what I can see, hold on, let me see if he gets charged with the uh, Never mind, he was charged with drinking. So I was going to say that, you know, the whole reason that this whole thing happens because this man decided to be stupid and back off into a car. But now that I really sit back and look at it, he gets charged with an OWI operating while intoxicated. He should have never been on the road. So this is the best case scenario that could have happened with this cop. And I'm so glad that he got caught. Because he clearly was out of his mind to the point where he was falling asleep in his vehicle. He could have easily ran into somebody head on and took a bunch of lives, man. And so I'm just happy that that happened. But to go back to him saying, I, I want a lawyer and I no longer want to be around you. Sometimes people just pick you as a target, man. And I want to say that this cop handled it well because... To be fair, this cop probably knew he was intoxicated, knew what this man was capable of, knew what he could have did to people. He really could have got ego and really made this man's life super hard, yelled at him. We watched a video not too long ago where the people were the back, the person in the back seat was yelling at him and he was yelling back at them and was like, well, I don't want to do this. I would stop doing this if you did. It's hard to keep your emotions in check. I'm not saying this officer probably hasn't lost his mind one day and yelled back. Yeah, guys, it just takes so much restraint, especially for somebody you don't respect at all. Somebody you knew was drinking and driving. It was technically, I think he got um, operating because he was in the vehicle, but he didn't go anywhere. Really? I just, I just, I just know that these policemen and I, I reason I show a lot of these videos too, because I want to show you guys human interaction and police interaction, but I know there was a big thing going on for a long time about how awful all these cops are and how awful people are. And I keep showing you, and there's hundreds and hundreds of videos I'm going to show you guys over the however long time span. But I'm going to keep coming back to you guys to show you how people interact with them and how people treat them and how people cuss them out and how people say they hate them, how people say they're going to beat them up, how people talk about their mothers, how people talk about their family, how people talk about the kids. There's another video where the guy was literally had to be had a he was spitting all over the cops and everything. He was just belligerent on these cops. You got to understand, man, that I understand you may not like some cops, but understand that it's not like everybody is nice to them. It's not like everybody's giving them the best, especially if you're in a certain city, in a certain area. Every day is going to be a hard day on the job. And some of these cops handle themselves really well. They really do. It is a tough life trying to restrain people. It's a tough life watching people do the most devious stuff. There's a whole cop channel on YouTube that is dedicated to showing people taking other people's lives. I can't show you all those videos because those will be a little long. But it's just crazy what some of these cops have to see day in and day out. They sometimes get to see the worst in people. And some of them still trying to find a way to preserve and protect. So that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying every cop is great. I'm not saying... 
all cops are bad. But all I'm trying to show you guys that this is real life out here. What you see in the movies or you see on Twitter or you see in on Instagram all the time is just not real life, man. Some traffic stops are just, hey, here's your ticket going about the day. But some of them, they turn into crazy things. And these people, they get treated like dirt just because they wear a badge. So that's all I'm saying, man. And I'll show you videos when I don't think cops did a great job. I'll show you both, but most of the videos I'm going to show are showing you what cops go through. And that's why I call this series that I do, Police Interactions. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, but there's not a whole lot to think here. This man was, this was pretty cut, clear. This man was drinking, about to drive, arrested. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going. Peace.